Good morning everyone! How's everybody doing today? Well, I am doing pretty good. I had me a fantastic night's sleep. That's right. <coughs> but now it is time to go see if we can make our delivery. the truck stop so we're gonna stop there you go so let's go see if we can find our delivery please ah, you see they got a nice big uh, service center right here if memory serves me right I think this used to be a TA or something else it used to be uh, owned by some different company wasn't owned by Flying J and then later on it turned into a Flying J. Now it's called Pin 80. Yeah. But anyways, thanks for joining me today. And that's coming right along with me today. And let's see what kind of goodies we'll be able to show you today. Fortunately we don't have a uh, reload as of yet but eventually we'll get one hopefully that would be my goal anyway so let's see how far it tells me to go left yeah. <coughs> that is the way that we want to go that other truck seems like he wants to go the same direction Another stop sign. There we go. We made that one. Let's get a little closer to the highway so we can see if there's vehicles coming. It looks like we are in the clear. So let's get on the highway here. And let's get over to our town where we're supposed to do our delivery. We got 18 miles. Wow, that looks pretty cool. That looks like a museum or something. Arts, ah, something new. Oh. In two miles, take the entrance to the left on PA 147 South Sunbury. Yeah, I filled in 80 gallons there last night to uh, make sure I have some fuel in here. I was getting a little bit low. Couldn't uh, fuel it up all the way, but uh, and I had a reason for that because. Uh, Prices are way more expensive up here than they are uh, somewhere else. And if I can get me a load from here to Toronto, uh, that's much better for me than I can fuel up in Toronto. And that's in Canada. And uh, if I fuel up in Canada, we have to pay a tax that's called GST. And we can claim that back 100%. So the more I fuel in Canada, I still pretty much pay the same price than here, but I can claim the GST back, so that in essence makes the fuel cheaper. Plus, I get me a good bonus. Stephen About every three ahead. months or four months or so, I, I fill out GST, and I get all of that money back. So, usually I can get a few hundred dollars back off of the fuel, you know. 
same thing with repairs. If I uh, if I repair because it's for my business, I can claim that as a business expense. I can claim all the taxes back. Plus, I can write that off as a business expense. But uh, anyways, we're taking some back roads and let's go see. Uh, get to our place where we need to go here we are on 45 PA 45 we are going over a river up here I have no idea what this river is called but uh, these are some absolutely gorgeous little towns that they got up here so figured I would show you guys a little bit of where we drive that's right Pennsylvania has got some of these little back road towns or whatever you want to call them They're absolutely beautiful towns, you know, like beautiful old buildings and stuff like that I love that about Pennsylvania. The only problem is it's always very very tight to go into places like these But look at the old buildings that they got up here I and mean, they they've got to be a hundred years old man Wow, look at it you see them here to the left to the right everything is pretty much old everything is old brick buildings everything is this building looks like it's been restored yeah still looks like an old building but it looks like it's been restored more or less you know wow look at that that used to be fam uh, famous there a little clock there at the corner I have a little clock right in town it used to be very famous from what I've seen. Yates, yeah. Wine draft beer food. Okay. Wow. Uh, subway is adopted into one of these old town buildings here too. But uh Yeah, we gotta go twelve miles on this US forty five or Pennsylvania or PA forty five in order to get to our delivery. There we go, Not the green, it means go, right? That's what some people say. Yeah, I'm really, really, really hoping that they ain't gonna make me sit here all day again. Because so far I have no reload offer at all yet. But look at them park different here too, eh? A lot of places you gotta park this way and these guys park in this way, you know? Oh, there's another semi truck up here. Wants to come to town as well. Well, I guess if I have no other choice than to leave their property once I am uh, done with my delivery, then I guess uh, I'll have to come back this way. To go back to that Flying J. That's right. There we go. Another green is in the book. That's right. I'm just enjoying the beautiful scenery up here, that's for sure. I don't know what that used to be. That looks like that used to be a famous nightclub or something. Some famous building. Man, oh yeah, here they have it parked this way again. Parallel or whatever you want to call it. Even the train track right here through town, right? Wow. Beautiful parts of North America, man. Very beautiful. Now, this is worthwhile going through here. That is for sure. Look at them buildings, how close they used to have them built together. Eh? Oh. The CB radio going nuts. I don't need that. Turn that off. But yeah, so it's a little town, uh, town here. Yep, so let's go see if we can get to our delivery. And, uh, hopefully we can show you some more goodies from here to there. All right, we have just gotten unloaded. Now we're gonna make our way back towards uh, the Flying J. I guess uh, waiting game today. Already uh, sent dispatch a message asking them if I uh, have a reload yet, and uh, they said they're working on it, so uh, whatever that means. So, 
Then we have no other choice than to go back to the Flying J. That's fine too, I guess. I'll go back there and uh, I guess I'll go have me some breakfast then. Give me some coffee and some breakfast and so should be good to go. Uh, oh wow, that pickup looks crooked on there. On that toll truck, but I guess it's because it had an accident. <laughs> Yeah, it was tight to get in here, but it was not too bad there in their, in their yard, but uh, to get into the place was a little bit tight, but we made it, we made it, that's all that matters. So here we are, gonna go back and uh, hopefully by the time we're done with breakfast and all that good stuff, we'll be, uh, we'll be okay. That would be nice. Hopefully by that time we'll have a reload, that would be fantastic. Well, we gotta go through these little towns before we get back to the truck stop. It's only like, well right now the GPS is telling me a different way than I came in. And I think it kind of makes sense too. Because, uh... I mean, the way I went in here it was okay, but uh, I think this time I'm going to take the 15, go to the interstate. Well, maybe not. Maybe I'll just go straight through. And I don't have, well, I don't know if there is a toll. No, I don't think it's a toll road. So, yeah, I guess I could, could go up to the 15 and go up that way and then go to the Fly and J. That'd be all right. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll see what else will happen today. Hopefully we can have some good news and get a reload before the day is over. <laughs> Alright ladies and gentlemen, we are back at it again. Back on the road, that's what I'm referring to. Yeah. We have gotten us a reload, didn't even take that long. I wish they would have told me about it earlier, but... Uh, we went inside and the uh, a good old uh, breakfast. Yeah, just sitting there relaxing. Didn't think I was gonna get a reload that quick, and then uh, get back to the truck and I already have a reload there. So uh, here we are. Now we gotta hurry up and go down to our pickup. We're supposed to be there at one o'clock this afternoon, but I ain't gonna be there by one o'clock. It's already twelve o'clock. I got uh, 76 miles to go yet. That's never going to happen. We might get there by 2 o'clock. Because uh, it's a lot of back roads that I got to drive. So GPS says I should be there a little bit before 2 o'clock this afternoon. But uh, we'll see if they'll still load us at that time. But uh, anyways, we got to go down there and uh, pick up our reload. So... Let's make our way down there and hope for the best we can get loaded today. Yeah. Alrighty guys and gals, we have just gotten our reload on. Yeah. That was pretty good. It's pretty good time there to get the load on. I think it was only there for about an hour and 15 minutes or so. So that was good with signing everything, sending my paperwork off. Well, I did the paperwork while uh, he was loading me, we signed everything and then they gave me the paperwork and then I went back to the truck and uh, filled everything out, ahead. sent it off to dispatch, now they can uh, work on clearing the border crossing, as soon as we got all of that then we're good to go right? Uh, we got a few hours before we hit the border anyway so uh, I would say we probably have about five hours maybe four, four or five hours before we hit the border How about that so hopefully they can uh, clear it today if not then we'll go tomorrow I suppose I should have said that I wanted to get it cleared today instead of tomorrow I was thinking about that now I told them I was going to get it cleared for tomorrow but yeah well I guess I have to find out what they will say about that maybe it will get me cleared earlier 
here. Hopefully. But anyways, let's get on down the road and uh, let's see. Just keep our fingers crossed, right? That's the plan. Look at all the snow that they got up here, though. They got a ton of snow up here. Really, a lot of snow up here, that's for sure. Well, this is it, guys. We are just about to hit the I-80. Well, I got about 12 miles to it anyways. So we'll be out of these back roads here pretty soon. It says here we got to slow down, so slowing down I guess we got another little town up here yeah I mean this road is not bad this is almost like an interstate but it's not quite as an interstate but got a few towns where we got to slow down for but other than that we've just been cruising along here for a little bit now we uh, are almost back to where we were this morning yeah actually this is US 15 and that's where I uh, turned off for uh, 45, remember? I turned off 45 and I went north on 15 to I-80 and I had to go a little bit east to get to that Flying J, right? So we should be uh, arriving into that uh, US 45 pretty soon too. So we will be back at the same stretch of highway that we were on this morning. Now that's weird, you don't get to do that all the time. That very seldom happens if you go the same stretch of highway twice in one day. But we did get our uh, ACI clearance already for the border crossing. All we're waiting on right now is the actual PARS. As soon as we get the PARS accepted, we will be good to cross the border. That's right. But it appears to be that the sun is starting to go lower. It might be turning dark here pretty soon. We still have 378 miles to go though. I'm going to try and get closer to the border before I stop for the day. That's the plane anyways. Oh well. We'll see if we'll get our bar code cleared tonight yet or not. I actually wouldn't mind crossing the border today and then be in Canada for tonight. Get some decent miles in yet today, or some, somewhat of some kind of miles in. That would be awesome. Yeah. Let's continue on with our journey. Well, ladies and gentlemen, we are done for today. Finito. That's right. We are here at a flying J. I don't think you can see it very much, but. Uh, yeah, we are here at the Flying J, just past the border into Ontario. Yeah, we have made it up here to Fort Erie, Ontario, to the big Flying J truck stop up here. This is actually a fairly good sized truck stop up here. I mean, even at uh, 10 o'clock Eastern Time, I was still managed to uh, find me a truck stop or uh, find me a parking spot in here if I can speak right. And there was still a few parking spots left here when I uh, walked back here now from the restaurant. It's already 11 o'clock at night. Yeah, I fueled up here and uh, went inside and grabbed me a bite to eat. Now we're back in the truck and uh, ready to hit the bed up there. Yes, I went and bought in, uh, went and bought some injector cleaner products. Every once in a while I put injector cleaner uh, products in here in my tanks when I fuel up. And now I did it after I fueled up and uh, I know I got a request the other day to show when I fuel up. You know how the process goes and all that but uh, it was kind of dark out here today so I didn't do it today but hopefully here in a couple of days we'll fuel up again. Hopefully that will be uh, during the day and then we'll be able to show you guys. And uh, anyways, we got, what do we got? Uh, let's see here. Uh, looks like we got exactly 100 miles from where we are right now to my delivery place. So uh, I think we're going to go to bed here right away. And then we'll get up early tomorrow morning. As early as we can anyways. It's not going to be super early, but 
soon as our 10 hours is up we can go up get up and go to bed uh, go, we can get up and get going you can probably tell I'm tired <laughs> I'm ready for bed so anyways with that being said hopefully you'll give me a big thumbs up on my video today share the video if you liked it and if you're new to our channel we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button hey and if you haven't uh, looked at my description box lately check it out there's a whole bunch of new stuff that I added in there so uh, read through some of them things and uh, hey you might all of a sudden see something new in there and what I'm referring to is uh, I did open up a uh, store where you can buy some cool items uh, that have the trucker Rudy label on it and stuff like that so uh, I hope you'll check it out and if you like something hey it's all there to buy you can go ahead and help yourself but uh, I am working on the store I am going to be adding some more things onto it I know right now I only have like nine items in there or something like that but we are going to be working on adding some more stuff so uh, hopefully that will be here in the near future I don't know what he's trying to do the guy pulling in there between us there but I guess he doesn't want to back in so he wants to drive in but uh, anyways that's all we got I hope you go check that description box out there's not just a store there's other things that I've added in there so check it out and if you have anything that you would like to ask me or whatever leave it in the comment section there down below and would love to answer some of your questions so with that being said have a good one everybody we will catch you on the next one behind